Hello, friends. Happy Monday to you. Happy Memorial Day to you. I can say that because it always falls on a Monday, right? Uh, today's encouragement would probably be a little bit lengthier, but hang in there with me, and I'm sure you'll be glad you did. Um, boy, we've had some terrific success stories here lately. It's so exciting. Did our first dinner with Doc uh, last week and uh, started some people from that, and it's exciting to see uh, people experience and embrace transformation, not just of their body, how they look, but how they think about themselves, how they think about stewarding their own lives going forward. So today's encouragement is um, somewhat about honoring, somewhat about uh, weight loss resistance. How am I making myself weight loss resistant? So that's going to be the title of this encouragement. Uh, it happens all too often, but we're seeing a lot of people obtain liberty from it, right? So if you've been around me for any length of time, you know that I'm pretty free about what I say, not in a, a destructive way, but as constructively as I can. And um, that is because of my own personal journey. So we all have a story. It's important that you embrace your story, that you share your story as you're able to and have freedom to. Um, you know, we all make choices that are good. We all make choices that are bad. I made some very bad personal choices a few years back, and from it, God brought good from it. Even though it was very, very poor choices um, and hurt came from it, out of it came a freedom from me to acknowledge my shortcomings and help people through theirs. In essence, grabbing their hand. Do you, ever, do you ever go on a hike and someone's crossing the stream behind you, they don't want to get their boots wet, and you grab their hand to hold them and draw them, draw them to you? That's the imagery I've got for this, where so many people come to me, usually women are a little bit more open than men, but I've had some men be pretty free with that uh, because we're one-on-one, -on -one, right? But leading people out of their bondage of failure after failure and poor self-image, uh, feeling low about themselves, literally low about energy because, you know, our food is our fuel. You can either, you can either eat cheap midnight oil fuel or you can eat rocket fuel, you know. That's the thing you want to keep in mind is this is going to rebuild your body in a powerful way. All right, so here's the encouragement. How am I making myself weight loss resistant? Take on a schedule like mine, like I have, if you're an overcommitter, right? So you might be an overcommitter. This is probably close to number one, if not number one. If you are famous for overcommitting yourself, you're going to stimulate your adrenal glands to make more cortisol. It'll affect the ability for you to fall asleep at night, and it'll certainly put you into fat storage. So be mindful of that. You know, God spoke a word into my life years ago, and it was just one word, and he knew how distracted and how easy it was for me to be an overcommitter, and it was simplify. There's a lot to be said for the simple life. And I didn't start following the Lord until I was 30 years old. So I had 30 years of living for myself, all about myself, sowing into myself, blah, 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 blah. And that can be very... Um, numbing. Uh, you, you get bored of it and it doesn't lift you up and build you up. But when you serve someone who is needy or in a worse place than you, it brings you out of depression. And I can speak to that because I was very, and I was in a state that wasn't good. So if you find yourself in the same place, help someone, serve someone. Maybe it's a loved one, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a coworker, or it's just someone who is in need and it will lift you up. There's not a pill for everything, folks. There's not. We're hearing that, you know, the medical model in our Western hemisphere, that's all they talk about is a pill for this, a pill for that. Oh my goodness, it's, it's overload, right? But we make ourselves weight loss resistant by creating a cortisol rise. Cortisol is a hormone in our body made by our adrenal gland. A little walnut-sized gland sits on top of our kidney, and it's a response to stress. So when we're stressing ourselves, we're taking on too much, we release cortisol in a sustained level in our bloodstream to manage it because cortisol helps to improve our circulation, dilates our 
um, pupils, increases heart rate and respiration, um, slows digestion, so you have blood go to your muscles in response. So this is part of the problem in our culture. We overcommit, we take on too much, we're not good at saying no, we're not good at placing boundaries, and we make ourselves weight loss resistant. Anybody else out there raising their hands? Okay, so how does that impact us in terms of our pillars? Well, it causes us to have poor sleep. Because if your cortisol levels are high when you go to bed, you're not gonna fall asleep right away. And when did I tell you your body burns the most fat, right? When we sleep. So if you're not getting a solid seven, you're, you're not gonna burn fat. You're making yourself weight loss resistant. If you're staying up watching television, or if you're staying up on your tablet or iPhone, pixelating your eyes, and that pixelation goes from your eye through the nervous system back to the pineal gland, which regulates your circadian rhythm, it can throw you off. That's why swing shifters struggle. People who one day are on day shift, then they're on third, then they're on seconds. They don't know if they're coming or going because their pineal gland is so messed up. Those people are making themselves weight loss resistant. And let's talk about the GI tract. For years, people who have taken antibiotic after antibiotic after antibiotic after antibiotic because their body's immune system is so depressed, well, what that does is kill off the good bugs in your gut the, the nice flora for digestion is wiped out and people develop constipation. I've heard people uh, say routinely around here, well, I've had constipation ever since I was a kid. Well, that comes about from kids eating too much sugar, too much refined processed food, the immune system is depleted, and then that person is taken to the doctor and they're given what? Vitamin C complex, right? No, they're given antibiotic. And it makes us antibiotic resistant. And then eventually as adults, weight loss resistant because you have disrupted gut flora. So if you want help with that, ask us about prosymbiotic. Ask us about gut flora complex. Ask us about berberine. Berberine is a natural way to replenish gut flora. And it's also known as the natural ozempic, right? So if you don't want to risk losing a lot of muscle mass, taking the shot, there you go. Take some berberine. Berberine Active is the name of it. So these are just some ideas. Um, water is probably right up there close to number two or three. People come in here all the time. Our clients are dehydrated. They're in the 30% range of hydration. And you will not burn fat. Your body senses a crisis. It will store fat in response to the crisis. And you keep yourself... Store, storing fat rather than burning it because you're walking around perpetually dehydrated. We, we, uh, we crave diet sodas or we lean on sweet tea or we lean on other uh, drinks that dehydrate us like, you know, coffee. Coffee, we do allow a coffee on the program, but just know that you go above an eight ounce cup and then you run your risk of accumulating more acid and dehydrating yourself because caffeine is a natural uh, diuretic. So these are some... Uh, these are some topics I want you to focus on. I'm, you notice I'm hitting the big ones because it routinely comes up. And the last thing I'll mention is um, how this impacts torturing yourself, your mind. You know, I had a sweet lady named Deborah come up after the last class and she said, you, you were speaking about me. You didn't mention my name, but you were speaking directly to me. I said, what was that? And she said, I eat the, th I eat the same things over and over again. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, well, that, you know, that stands to reason too. You know, that goes along with um, lack of stimulation, right? We all want to have stimulation. Variety is the spice of lice, right? Life, life, not lice. Variety is the spice of life. If you eat the same things over and over again, or you hear the same things from your friends or your loved ones, you know, you're going to hear Charlie Brown's school teacher after a while. You become numb to it. Well, your GI tract and your metabolism is the same way. If you give yourself a good variety of food choices on your menu, you will stimulate a better metabolic rate. It's that simple. So I hope you're gaining benefit from these reminders. For some of you, it's a refresher. For some of you, it's brand new concepts. And that's okay. That's why you've come here. You've come here to literally learn how to get yourself out of fat storage where you've become a master. You're a professional at storing fat. And now you want to learn how to burn it sustainably long term. You know, I've got people who have been with me for years now. And I, you know, 
several come to mind who have tormented themselves on the scale or they needed strong accountability. And we've just introduced that this year. Before this year, I wasn't seeing people weekly for check-ins, but you know what? For some people it works. Other people, they don't need it. I had a gal who drives down from Murphy yesterday and I said, you know, I, I just, you know, I just don't think you need. And she said, I don't either. She said, I, I want to eat clean. At the time I was sick, you know, I couldn't, but she had pneumonia in the hospital for pneumonia, but she, I don't have to, I don't have to look over her shoulder continually. She's a clean eater. She likes eating clean. She's seen the benefit from it. She's seen it on the scale. She's seen it in her clothing, how they fit. She's seen it in her body size. You take the, you take a look at your start picture on your chart compared to how you are 30 days, 60 days, 90 days in and bang, that's why we do it. So to keep yourself from being weight loss resistant, take a look at yourself, do some self evaluation. See the places that you struggle the most. Maybe for some of you, it's not water or you sleep like a log. You get eight, nine hours in, which is beautiful because that's when you burn fat in your muscle. Remember, that's why you hear it ad nauseum from me over and over again. Talk about protein, 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 protein. So many diets of the past. I mean, I'm in my 50s, so we grew up hearing if you want to, if you want to lose weight, eat less, move more, eat less, move more, eat less, move more, right? We all know that doesn't work. How many times do I talk about exercise here? How many pieces of exercise equipment do you see here in this clinic, right? You know the answers to these things. Your metabolic change takes place biochemically. It happens with your choices. I'll leave it at that. But if you're not getting corny and you're not putting your why up posted, your bathroom mirror, the speedometer of your car, wherever your eyes take your refrigerator, Put your why up, get corny, get your head into this. You remember the video I talked about, the reticular activating complex in the back of the brainstem? It works, everyone has one. So if you're not using it, you're just squandering that leverage, that benefit. Make sure you pull these elements and these strategies out and use them to your favor. You'll never be sorry you did. I'm sorry this video is going on for so long, but it's a big deal, these concepts, making the transformation of your mind. It, it didn't happen for me in 30 days. It didn't happen for me in a, a three month plan. It took me years to get myself out of eating trash into eating whole food that was alive and had a lot of uh, nutrient profile and had a lot of frequency because it looks alive. You know, if you look at a nice fresh stalk of celery, or a, a, a green salad, green garden salad, compared to something that's been processed, like a bowl of potato chips or uh, something like that. Luncheon meats, right? They're the ultimate in processed. Um, that's a fractionated food and your body will feel fractionated, it won't feel whole. If you eat whole food, your body's gonna feel whole. If you eat fractionated food, your body's gonna feel fractionated, regardless if your mind takes you there. So many times people say to me, Doc, I've, I miss those things of the past. I miss those things I grew up on. I miss those things that were traditional around holidays. I understand. I do too, to some degree, but I also miss it when I don't feel good. So cling to your why. I hope you apply and you're taking notes. If you're not taking notes, go back and rewatch this and take some notes. Put down some bullet points of what you need to focus on and do no more than three. Sometimes many of you just need one, take one at a time. Accomplish one, cross it off your list, move on to the second one. Make a list, you might wanna make two lists. Make a list of everything you know you're deficient in, start with one. Make a second list where this is what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna handle this and master this this week. So that way you can get a sense of accomplishment after you've mastered it and cross it off your list and move the next one over. That's a great strategy. I do it all the time. I make lists all the time. On my phone, which I'm speaking into right now, I use the notes icon or the notes app. And I live by that thing because I get five times as much done. People wonder how I keep up with all that I do with my rental properties and the practice. And I am underwater right now, but you know, that's my own undoing. So that's part of where the genesis of this video came from is my own self analysis and evaluation and saying, man, I've over committed. I'm, I'm tired. I need a break. We all need those things. We're not machines. We think of ourselves that way, 
We keep thinking we're going to get caught up and we fool ourselves thinking we're going to get caught up. And you know, we don't. We just have to know when to take a break because we're never going to get caught up. And that's a, that's a, uh, that's a really important thing to understand. That way you can get better balance in life. Do what you can do when you can do it. Control what you can control and release what you can't. But then go back to your list. Start mastering those pieces you want to have in place. And eventually, they I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, they will become automatic. And it will become your new normal. And you won't have to de devote energy or bandwidth to it. Make sense? Come to class. Class is the 30th. Um, make notes uh, from this video. And uh, we'll have updates in the future. Um, about additional classes that we're going to have every single month, even through the summer. God bless you all. I know this was a long video. For those of you who have hung in there, congratulations. That proves to me that you've got your heart in this, not just your head. And you're going to see it through. You're going to succeed. You just have to build a strong foundation to have a beautiful, tall building. Uh, God bless you all, and I'll see you real soon.